Uh, I hear you. But um, yeah, I can do a quick review. That'd be fine. All right. Um, you can take control, and we'll go as fast or as slow as we need to. Sure. Uh, By the way, Galucci, my name is Brock Chiller. I'm a uh, 12Q friend of Mike's. Nice. How you doing? Yeah, yeah. We, um, he's been helping me do the channel, honestly, my, my new one. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Um, so let's start. Uh, so Kobayashi, yes. Yeah, um, I'm not used to the Kobayashi. That's, uh, I think it gave you an early advantage. Yeah, I enjoy it. I've been playing around with it. I try to do different openings as I just go through the game, and this time around I've been starting to learn the Kobayashi. So I just decided to take the corner because the corner is that's a pretty nice corner. Yeah. Um, what do you? What does White usually do at this point? Um, so I White didn't did... answer that actually. The five don told me S four. Yep. Ah. Oh, okay. So White generally slides into the corner. Black has the option of threatening the split, and then making a bamboo joint. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. Or uh, he can pincer actually right away. See, and this is what I thought, because I thought of the S4, but then I was like, oh, well, now I feel like I either get the corner or I poke out and then you take the corner from me and now I have a weak group and you can build on both sides. Right. So white would do this next. Black would do the, the bamboo defendy thing mm -hmm. if he felt like it, right? Yeah. Um, and then white would probably protect this cut point. Yeah. Because that's a huge shape point. If white decides to jump out or something, this gives black like a huge fighting advantage. Right, and now black's making some pretty good points on the bottom. Right. But I think because of the fact that like you are semi hurting um R R eight. A little yeah. bit, right? So like yeah. you can take advantage of that later, but if I do decide to like maybe play lightly and like respond to something random, I mean there's always this. Yeah, yeah. So, yep. okay. That's generally how I understand it being. I I usually have no intention of really keeping the entire bottom because it's just takes too many moves in the beginning. But I think mm -hmm. the idea is to just like get that there. I mm -hmm. suppose. Um. Yeah. So I didn't feel like doing the bottom anymore. So I just figured it was bigger to approach the bigger side. Okay. This was cool. Mm. But then I'm like, I'm not just gonna like submit. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, all yeah, these yeah. Things, right? Yep. Uh, so I tried to enlarge my moyo, and then that's right. That's normal. Mm -hmm. Um, this is where I think this was the best, biggest move. This is where yeah. I'm starting to get into like unsure territory. Um, right around this point. <laughs> Not not only did I think it was a great move, I I spent like most of my time thinking at this part of the game. I think if we look at the time difference, because mm -hmm. um, I just didn't know how to answer it exactly. Right. I I, I liked the Hane just because it, it's really a great sector point thing to like expand my own stuff. Mm. Um. So this was interesting. I honestly I think that mm, it's tough. It's hard to answer actually, because yeah, this helps you build a lot. And like I mean, you're not I, building nearly as much, right? Which is the issue. Exactly, and I I think S six is still a slow and kind of not great move because you just build this wall anyway with your next move. Right. Um, but I just I didn't want to honey. <laughs> I just it didn't feel good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good that you're actively though trying to reduce it though, which was mm -hmm. cool. Um, I was hoping I'd get a better attack on this. I thought like I had a great attack on this weak group actually. So, oh yeah, yeah, okay, yep. So like, I felt good about like the building strength over here, and then cap. Mm. I didn't really know what else to do. Um, this was probably a mistake. Um, for some reason, I thought like once I played P nine, that I could kill these two stones. But the, I read this out like on this move here, right? Oh. So it was like kind of a reading mistake. Gotcha. But once I played it at the same time, I was like, okay, he's disconnected, so I can work with this. Yeah. Because right. you have to come back. Yeah, it actually yeah. turned out to be stronger than I had thought. Um, By the yeah, way, could... Mike, um, oh, sorry, Sherman, uh, yeah. Seth said you should have run to the left. 
Okay. I'm not yeah. sure why, but he said that. That makes sense. Which you kind of started doing. Right. Oh, maybe run it. Maybe instead of up here, here. Well, I think he meant like instead of the moves that like oh nine. Oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Instead of this stick. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> um. So I thought this was my reading mistake. I thought this worked. Mm -hmm. Um. But it didn't. So I'm like, all right, time to like. Was there a better shape I could have made? You know what? Maybe I should have just done this. Yeah. It does yeah, the same that, thing, but the next move isn't cuttable, or is cuttable, and this isn't. Yeah, and I feel like this is helps your group on the top, too, as well. Yeah, wow. I don't know why a knight's moved instead of... Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> shape is actually one of the weakest parts. I've been, like, actively trying to make that better, because it's, mm. it's a really bad part of my game. I think studying Tetsuji a lot makes your shape better, but... Mm -hmm. but that's at least how I've gotten to the shape where it's at now. I'm not saying mine's great. <laughs> yeah, Tetsuji, I like... Ah, exploiting other people's shape is way easier than having good shape. <laughs> mm. um, but yeah, you did a great job of cutting this. I saw that... Um, I can't hold on to it all. Mm -hmm. So I tried to, like, bait you into maybe responding somewhere over here so then it works now or oops mm. yeah um that's clever i i didn't think it was uh i i had to connect that's uh that's how i felt yeah I like, like even if my group was hurting a lot on the bottom Mm -hmm. I was like, darn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it didn't work. So, shape as much as I can. Um, I think I didn't make any un thing. I didn't think I made any moves in this area that I didn't have to make. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. Because at this point, you're alive no matter what, right? Mm hmm So... This got me scared, though. I was like, there's got to be a way to make two eyes somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of great at this part because I felt like I could have tried and continued the attack, but instead I um I wanted to make thickness on, towards the left. Which was talking... a great idea. Yeah, yep. Because my, my teacher, Monday, he was all like, you attack too much. If you can make thickness and build territory, do that instead. Mm. <laughs> Which actually That's makes me want to ask why, uh, Gallucci, why didn't you make thickness on the left when uh, Mike had his weak group in the middle there from invading? So you're saying, like, keep running left instead of running up? No, I'm saying, like, why didn't Black choose to make a thickness by attacking the weak white group on the left instead of on the right? If you so, see what oh, say. oh, so okay. at the time... My idea was I can take advantage of the two weak groups, uh, these guys and these guys. Oh, okay. So if I can like attack this, shimmy it over to the left, and then build strength to then attack the other group, I thought that would be a decent strategy. But my shape mm. wasn't good, and in the end, he strengthened both of them. Um, mm. and it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Seth was saying like, he was saying that both of you guys were kind of ignoring the mountain on the left and, and like focus on a molehill kind of. Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, normally we're taught that like those low stones on the left, like those two enclosures can't make a lot of territory. Mm -hmm. So I didn't feel as worried about it, but maybe that's, I should have. That's exactly how I felt too. I was like, these stones are low, so it'd be stupid to build over here right now. Mm -hmm. I needed a reason to build, and then once I got that wall, then I had a reason. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, so now I'm like, I need to like try to reduce this. Interestingly, you kept pushing. I didn't actually notice, I didn't realize the, the peep mm -hmm. at G4. That was awesome. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like H4 or H3 was almost a viable invasion as well, but... 
the peep just felt better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I didn't really expect. Honestly, this was stupid for me. Maybe I should have. Hmm. I feel like okay, so like this is where the game is starting to swing in your favor, right? Yeah. Like this is the turning point. So the question yeah. is, what does Black do? I like your move, the one you just did, because I st I feel compelled to connect, and now you can try and ruin the left side. Mm, yeah. Because you have all the points on the bottom, right? So you're, I at the moment I think in the lead of territory, in the power of territory. Yeah. So I need to make points. Yeah. Just something like that. Yeah. And then I I think I'd try and work harder on that invasion. But you you played pretty well. I didn't think you were going to be able to connect underneath after I peeped. Oh, yeah. Um, I thought I was going to make a lot more points down there. Maybe instead of that one. Nah, kind of. Maybe this one instead. I like uh, E11 more. Oh yeah, you're, go you're just still completely go down connected. that way. Yeah. Yeah, totally. That's oh, that's my other problem. I make things that I think are forcing moves, but they're not because I don't think about them carefully enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought I was gonna defend the two white stones here for some stupid one? reason. Yeah, I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we were gonna pick a losing move, this is probably the losing move here. Yeah. Because now I get this cut, and that's what got me the win, right? Well, after the, these exchanges. Right, that cut was huge. Oh my gosh. And, like, I can't live locally. There's no way I can... I doubt. It it would be a fight. I, it would have been a fight I would have enjoyed. <laughs> yeah, <right>? for sure. <laughs> <sighs> Once again, I play a move that's not forced. But, wow, that was great, though. And then, so, I was like, well, that's a lot of points can i maybe kill the corner <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um but that's sente unfortunately and then you can just defend that yep and i thought you know it was cool i thought um a 13 was cool i didn't realize that it connects why not just play b12 it just it felt more like reducing the eye space of the corner and if i wanted to kill the corner um, it just felt like a better way to start doing that. Mm. Mm. I didn't really know if it can be killed. I don't think it can. I liked your reduction here. What you could have came back um, was if you killed these the white stones at J13 and tried making points in here. In fact, I think all you had to do is play uh, K, K15 or maybe even just J16. Um, Mm. When we were playing in the end game. Oh, like, like here? Yeah. Like, I felt like you could have made these points pretty easily. And then, That'd uh, be a fair amount go. of points. Yeah. Four, it felt like eight, if I built up one side, you just start, like, 12. railing against the other side. Mm. So okay. it didn't feel... I think also letting H four go was huge. I had the opportunity to net it, and I didn't. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. For the longest time, I wanted to play uh, J five. So I liked this forcing sequence. Um, this was interesting. Yeah, I thought it would be cooler. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool. I dug it. <laughs> Um, I thought uh, I would hit M2, and then I'd make, like, a tiger's mouth. But I was like, oh, that's, that doesn't look good enough. Mm -hmm. So I think here, mm, no, I need to, I needed to respond to these, I think. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Double honey, I think, was a mistake. Yeah, because it allows me the cut, and then I get to try and kill these four stones. As soon as I clicked that, I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 I did. Um, maybe it would have been worth more to just, like, t treat H16 lightly and, um, try to capture these. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, I'm very curious. What if F4? So, I may have read this completely wrong. Let's see. F4, 1, 2. Then, yep. Ah, oh, it still doesn't even freaking work. Yeah, this, but if it went like this, then you could poke into the corner. True. So. Okay. Uh, that was cool. Hurt me a lot. Yeah, you came back a lot in the end game too. Some yeah. Good points. The, that I felt dumb. Because <laughs> it gave you sente, so it's yeah, like, you well, I should have just, yeah, I should have just responded there. That was four points gone. Pretty big. Yeah, I was like, nope. So here, uh, I think you didn't notice that you couldn't Atari me. Right here? Yeah. Oh no, I did. I wanted um, the well, the sequence that happened later. Oh, okay. Because now you you Atari me, right? Oh, no, no, no. Well, yeah. I knew taking the two... St oh, by the way, go back for a second. Right back, back, back here. Now cut at these two stones. I was reading something. It's, cut where? Uh, 12G, or 12Q, I'm sorry. Oh, me cut. Yeah. Okay, so... I felt like there's some really bad stuff you could have done here. Maybe not. Doesn't look. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't felt, think so. I think that just because um, of the T seven stone, I was really afraid. It felt like there was a lot of cutting points in my shape. Yeah, I was one. I was one stone away from the Tsuchi's working. It mm -hmm. you you had you had like two spaces over my one stone instead of one, so nothing. Yeah. Works. <laughs> <laughs> so close. All right, it's 11, and I know you got um, finals and stuff. Oh, uh, this is so much more interesting than studying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you just needed sleep. You mean you're actually going to stay up? I might review, <laughs> like, one thing. But, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to bed pretty soon. 11.30. <laughs> but this was really fun. I'm So I, I'm glad that at least I'm interesting enough that you, like, would be okay playing again. Because I got a lot out of this. <laughs> Yeah, you know, dude, you honestly you were ahead most of the game. If you didn't make like that uh, cutting mistake at F eleven, then it probably would have been a different game. Because mm -hmm. awesome. uh, I mean, it's pretty clear that I made. Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, six times three, twenty four points, right? 18. Six, twelve, uh, eighteen. Well, that that's still a lot of points I made. Oh, right that's a there. crap ton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And like your tiny corner canceled out my tiny corner, and then like your side and center canceled out my other side and center. So it was really like my bottom versus your bottom left. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't enough. So I wanted to know how did you get into Go and what, when did you get into Go? I so I would read Hikaru no Go in high school, mm -hmm. and I was thought it was really cool, and I tried learning, but the I didn't know about any of the rules. Like I'd start on nineteen by nineteen, I. The only server I knew existed was on Yahoo Games. Hey, that's where I started. <laughs> that place is terrible. <laughs> it was so bad. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know anybody. So I stopped after like a month. I was like, I'm, I'm, this is stupid. Like, I'm not having fun. And then I picked it up again in college because my one friend heard of it. And so we both tried to learn together. And that's when we got to like mid DDK range. Mm. And then this past summer, I was like, this game is freaking awesome. And I want to get really good at it. So I just decided I start training um, till now. Good stuff. Yeah, uh, bro, did you know about uh, Yahoo? That Yahoo has Go? No, that sounds really ghetto. It was it's so, really, it was so really, ratchet. <laughs> really bad. Like the ranking system is really bad. I think it starts you off with something, right? I don't know the yeah. number. It literally feels like the board looks like it's made of cardboard. <laughs> yeah, they're just and it, there's no texture to the stones. They're just white blocks. <laughs> <laughs> I remember just playing and like the ranking was so bad. Everyone was extremely stronger than me, and there was just no reason to play because you just lose every time. Yeah. So I started on a site called Fly or Die. That, yeah, that sounds epic. <laughs> that site is it's the same. They use like a number ranking, not Q. It's like 500 or 540. And I always just lost on there. 
Yo, so Dave here, he's um he started in December and already he's like twelve or eleven Q. Dude, that's awesome. Well, not as fast as you though, because you got to like one Don in one year, which is incredible. <laughs> well, technically, I mean I don't know what to call myself because I'm like three Q, I guess, on KGS. But or technically I am on Taijam. Though you would probably uh Mikito, you'd probably be like I would say two Don. I'd say you could be a two Don on Taijam. Done. That that would be nice. I I'm I should consider playing on there, but I just feel like it means a lot more if I reach it on KGS. I know, yeah, yeah. Uh, my friend who's uh, three done AGA, he's he fights between one and um, one done and one Q, like he's always between those ranks. That's so interesting. My KGS. Yeah. Is I think OGS is just a, OGS is weird. Well, you know what it is? You get to choose your ranks in um, Gem and OGS. Right. And so, like, you can kind of pick what you want, and then, like, you know, you'd have a lot of players who, like, picked 1Q or 1Don, but they're actually, like, 6 or 7, right? Yeah, it's so true. So you can get a lot of wins that way. That's true. Oh, yo, still... um, Incente, I have, I have two quick questions for you. Yeah. One is, do you play Super Smash Bros. Melee? I love Super Smash Bros. Melee. Are you like into the scene or anything? I so my one friend is like one of the best players I've ever seen, and in college he just like kicked my ass over and over. So I got like be much better than the average person. Uh huh. But what was your I, friend's tag? <laughs> he had a lot of them. He was okay. like, <laughs> I think he had one of them one time it was come. They changed it to God, and then uh -huh. he he liked the vulgar tags. The reason but, uh, I ask is because you have a video called Tech Skill with like a GameCube controller. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yep. noticed that too. <laughs> I was like, what can I name this series? And I was like, I'm just going to throw back to Smash because it's pretty great. <laughs> that was awesome for me. I mean, I never thought Smash was like big enough to be a meme, but you proved me wrong, which is great. <laughs> it's really under the radar, but I think a lot of people like it. Oh yeah, I was competitive for a year at least. Oh sweet. Switch to go. I've always appreciated the competitive melee scene. I've never was good enough to be a part of it, but I was always like watching my friend do it, and I was like, God, you guys are awesome! Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stick with go, man. It's it's a lot better as a game, I think. Rewarding, right? Or rewarding for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel the same way. Also, where do you live? Like, what area? I'm in Delaware. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. On the east. How about you guys? So you're in you're in my time zone. So you're somewhere. Mm. Yeah, we're in Massachusetts. Oh, okay. We, we go to the Boston Club all the time. Nice. How's the ghost well, scene down there? <laughs> literally non-existent. <laughs> oh, that sucks, man. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> and like, there, I I'm in my lab. There's a few like people from China and stuff and like i asked them like do you guys like play go like i really like this game and they're like nah it's too hard for me i'm like come on guys like, bring it home. <laughs> Chinese, come on play go okay <laughs> somebody i might start a club once if i have the time maybe next this year yeah i'm actually surprised delaware doesn't have like a uh delaware you know association i looked and there was so on aga it says there's one and i mm -hmm. checked it out but like the phone or the website doesn't exist. There's a 404 not found, and they don't answer anything else. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <no. it> exists. <laughs> that sucks, dude. Yeah. 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 You have some I, influence. You should, you know, well, consider starting a scene there. That would be really cool. That, that is a good idea. And uh, the AGA is always like supporting too. If you tell them that like I need some funding or like I need some publicity, they'll help you out big time. Mm, yeah. I definitely might think of that. I actually, so it's sort of on the DL, but there's something that I wanted to try to do. That's like, um, maybe a, introduce a program to like introduce Go to like seniors that are like sort of in those like l assisted living homes. Mm -hmm. And my thought being like, even though like technically it's really complicated, if you drill, if you like cut it down to a nine by nine and there's only literally two rules basically it's complicated but there's only two rules so it's not like chess where they wouldn't remember what right. shit does like it would be really interesting to see if like maybe all like the cognitive things that go can bring would like 
help them, I don't know, remember stuff better, or like, they'd have fun like playing it with other people, something to do. I, I... I see what you're saying. So when you when you said seniors, for some reason I thought of like high school and not oh, senior citizens. No, like senior citizens. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, where, you, where is he going with this? One? <laughs> but um, you know what? I actually thought of a project that I wanted to work on this summer too. But instead of with seniors, I wanted to um, do it at an orphanage. That's a really cool idea. The reason is, is because one, I, I really do love teaching Go, and like I can never get enough people in like my college you know to, to like teach and make a club mm -hmm. so i was like oh they do programs for orphanages all the time and kids love games so i was like right there i'd already have like maybe like 20 or 30 students and i would enjoy myself teaching that's a really not, good idea yeah not only that and it helps your like you know community helping out orphans and stuff but it also brings in a lot of young players who are going to grow up and become really strong really fast yeah. yeah. So if you were thinking about doing a club with seniors, I mean, you know, feel free. But I would advise um, looking into maybe, uh, what do you call it, volunteering at an orphanage. That is such an interesting idea, and I never even thought of it. The reason yeah. why my brain went to seniors is because I read this little thing on some blog about, like, no Go player, like, has ever been, like, or no professional Go player has, like, been diagnosed with, like, dementia or whatever. Yeah, and Alzheimer's like, and stuff. Yeah, and there's too. like a few like little research papers that I saw from Japan that were talking about like Go being able to help delay dementia effects because of just yeah. like using it and stuff. So I thought like it would be interesting to try it out with the old folks. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, power to you. There's just too much uh, to do. <laughs> <laughs> so there are like three of me. One could do the Go Club, one yeah. could do the senior thing, one could do the orphanage thing. You're damn yeah. right. Life is too busy. Yeah. <laughs> but that's good. You know, I'd rather have a busy life than a boring one. For sure. And what better game to teach us how to make the most out of our multi-group metaphor life? Yo! <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's all about efficiency. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for real. And, you know, Go, it really teaches me to, like, think. Like, when I'm at work and there's some office politics or some shit, I'll just think of it in terms of like, okay, if I do this, this will happen. If I do this, <laughs> yes, <laughs> reading it out. I'm, I'm the opposite. I think Go takes me away from work. I'm like, man, I wish I could be home studying or playing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes at work, I am studying, <laughs> playing. It's really hard not oh, to. Yeah. It's totally my procrastination at this point. Like, if I, instead of Facebook, I just like do Go problems. It's Dude, it's that is so much better. I need to like. <laughs> get off of that shit and do go problems like you <laughs> definitely uh yo what books did you uh read what books like really changed your game okay um so i read i think when i was a ddk the fund lessons in the fundamentals of go was huge for me yeah um i only read so i have a lot of books that i sort of read lessons in the fundamentals i read like half of um, mm -hmm. Attack and Defense, I read the first two chapters. That was, that was really cool. The whole balance of territory versus power bit. And yeah. how to like think about what you need to do in a game, which was cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the best book that I actually ever read was Get Strong at Tetsuji. Get Strong at Tetsuji. I actually haven't looked into that one. You probably... It's probably too basic for your level. Because I did those when I was like 8Q. But the thing is, like it, it like supercharged my ability to like fight. Like, the amount of stuff that I've killed because of, like, crap from that book that I learned mm -hmm. is was absurd. Completely absurd. Um, Sorry, what book did you say that was? Get Strong at Tsuji. Okay. Yeah. Now, did did you ever read the Elementary series? No, I never read those. Um, those four okay, books are really the only books that I, I actually read. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, you haven't read that many, and you already gotten this strong. Yeah, I've mostly I, just been playing games and mm -hmm. reviewing my games. And so I take I take one tactical lesson and one strategic lesson from each game that I play seriously. So for this okay. game, for example, the, yeah, knights move at, the knights move as opposed to the one space jump. That will be mm -hmm. like my tactical lesson. So like if I'm going to try to like connect with the knights move, I'm going to say to myself like, can I do this with a one space jump because it's better shape? And then mm. that's what I that's my lesson. And then strategically, um, I should not make a forcing move that's only worth four points. 
<laughs> and and like focus on like the big area in the middle game. Don't get wrapped up in the like the little stuff. And then so mm -hmm. I just remember those, and then so I just try not to repeat them. I think the key to getting good fast is you just just don't make the same mistakes. You can make mistakes, just don't make the same ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I can agree to that. I I feel bad because in the last like couple of games I made the same mistakes like two or three times. And it was like an end game move. Yeah, and it's gonna it happen. Because really we're human. <laughs> but yeah, I try my best to like you make my like to tailor my studying to what I see going wrong in my games. Mm. Instead of just because the way I see it, if you just if I study something I'm already like better than my level at, it's kind of a waste of time right now. Mm. So I should let my games tell me what I study. Okay, that's cool. I've been uh, I've been just trying to study a little bit of each. So I'll do like one new lesson of Tetsuji, one new lesson of Life and Death. And like it's interesting, Maybe. right? So I'll be studying just for fun. Like I'll look at a opening video on like the Kobayashi or something just because I'm interested. Which is mm -hmm. yeah, I should get going. It's yeah, really easy I... to talk about Go forever, but I gotta <laughs> get going. <laughs> mm. I got you, dude. Yeah, nice talking to you, man. This is great. If you ever, yeah, definitely if you guys ever want to play again, I'm totally down or Skype again. Um, I'd love to meet some other Go Club members. You know what would be really cool if we had like a live game of like me versus someone in the club or something. Or like. Yeah. You know what you can do? You can play me at some point and then we can make like a teaching game out of it. You can make a video out of it if you want. That would be cool. It's a possibility. Yeah. I can't have a Go Club in real life. I can have a Go Club on Skype. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I think your channel is really strong. Like, your videos are really easy to watch. So, um, you know, I'd love to, or we would love to help you out with that. You know, give you some material if you ever need it. Well, that'd be great. Thanks. So. Yeah, and you know what? We're really close uh, at the same level. Uh, so, I think, um, you know, we could benefit playing games. Mm -hmm. once in a while and reviewing and stuff oh for sure awesome all right, all right. Well, this let is you great. go now yeah good night guys See thanks later take it easy